Now the little known story of a forgotten war that changed American history forever. It's all inside Brian's new book, Thomas Jefferson and the Tripoli Pirates. Yep, uh, that story is more than just Thomas Jefferson, although the name will probably attract you to it. It's the story of several and many brave Americans who you do not hear about in history class. Take a look. In the aftermath of the Revolutionary War, America had won independence from the British. And that meant no more Royal Navy to keep its sailors safe at sea. The United States became vulnerable to a vicious new enemy whose extremist ideology we still face today, Islamic radical pirates. The year, 1783. The United States were free, but buried in war debt. They needed to build an economy from scratch using their greatest asset, trade. The most important passageway, the Mediterranean Sea. But danger lurked right off the North African coast. A new enemy would await. Pirates from four Islamic nations, Morocco, Algiers, Tunis, Tripoli. Without a navy for protection, its merchants were helpless and vulnerable at sea. Pirates captured our ships, plundered our cargo, and turned the crew into their slaves, held for ransom that no new nation could afford to pay. Without trade, America's economy would surely collapse. Congress tasked two future presidents to come up with a deal, John Adams and Thomas Jefferson. They'd meet Tripoli's ambassador in London face to face. The ambassador was charming, but uncompromising, and demanded money for passage. According to the Koran, it was their God-given right. Both Adams and Jefferson left the meeting shaken. They didn't have a deal on the prisoners, and they didn't have a deal on safe passage for our merchant ships. Back in the United States, they waited for a recommendation, and that's where Adams and Jefferson split. Adams said, we can't fight him unless we want to fight him forever. For Jefferson, he says you can't pay for peace. He sensed that the attacks would start and the price would only go up. In this case, Jefferson was 100% correct. The United States would cave to the pirates, borrowing money. It would cost them up to 20% of their national budget. Yet somehow, the attacks continued. When our first president took office, he would continue to make the payments, but he would also commission the building of six ships, including this very one, the USS Constitution. What were they like? Well, they had copper bottoms, they had solid oak sides, they were fast, they were strong, and they were built to fight. They wouldn't be ready for the Washington administration. Adams would choose not to use him during his years in office, but for Jefferson, he knew exactly what he was gonna do. He was gonna take on the Barbary nations, and the first one to declare war on us, Tripoli. Without congressional approval, all Thomas Jefferson's new Navy would be permitted to do would be to provide security for the merchant ships and blockade the Tripoli Harbor. The hope was to stop all commerce coming in and out and strangle the Tripoli economy, have a quick end to this confrontation. However, the blockade was ineffective. It was leaky. The Tripoli pirates knew how to get through. The Corsairs had the guile and the knowledge and the guts to take on the Navy. Therefore, a quick end to this clash would go by the boards. But that would all change with this captain, Edward Preble. The training would get intense, and the confrontation would begin. Preble's boys were brave and brash. They confronted the pirates, harassed their ships, and took them back. Even flew up an American ship, the USS Philadelphia, that the pirates once claimed as their prize. Soon, the Navy sealed the harbor. Day after day, their cannons would pound the coast. But Tripoli's leader refused to budge. The Navy needed a more powerful force, both on water and on land. Enter William Eaton and a handful of fearless U.S. Marines. They launched the land war, recruiting mercenaries, enlisting the deposed Tripoli ruler and his fighters to march 500 plus miles on foot. And after the trek, they took the port city of Derna in two and a half hours. Eaton's stunning success surprised even Jefferson, although ultimately his victories would be stymied by a surprising source, an American diplomat named Tobias Lear. Lear would cut a premature peace deal with Tripoli, stopping William Eaton from taking Benghazi and Tripoli itself. In the end, it would be another 10 years and another president before we ultimately won this war. But in the end, the message was sent. America was a naval power, would fight for liberty, and assert itself as a world leader, a position we still hold today. Whew, 
I just yeah. gotta chill. Uh, it's just, uh, Brian Tully did an incredible job looking at that, but I was just amazed if you take Adam's quotes and Jefferson's quotes, you can put them in Obama and Bush's quotes, and these are the same challenges with Islamic extremism they were dealing with then, trying to figure it out as dealt with now, and the only success we had is when we confronted it and took it head on. And that ship you were on in that uh, USS Peace Constitution Racer in Boston, the actual what ship was that from like? the war. It's amazing, and I'm going to do. There's going to be a feature where I took a whole look through because they they reinstated it. It's the same thing with the same copper bottom, and they're refurbishing it again and giving you an idea of what it was like on those ships for months. It was it was uh, it was 400 people on that ship. The decisions to not downsize military to continue to build our defense was yeah. crucial and yeah. now even today now yeah we're downsizing again and we seem to be paying the price i gotta tell you if, if i have, i have um appreciate it and if you want to have to talk to me at the book or see us at signings i'll be in uh, the heritage foundation on the 6th mclean virginia on the 7th fredericksburg uh on the 8th and then uh book review the only stop on new york and huntington uh new york congratulations on the 10th. brian very Thanks nice all right excellent, excellent also go to briankillme.com yeah information absolutely foxandfriends.com the whole list talk okay. to me just like this thank all you right. very Love much it.